uh, the labyrinthian. Welcome, Jagar Tharn, to Winterhold. I trust that the weather has not affected you adversely. Well, it has come to my attention that there have been certain inquiries about the Labyrinthian. My name is Thalen Karn, and I find this quite interesting. Few have sought out this legendary place, many less have found it. Perhaps we can do each other a favor. Allow me to explain. A few days ago, knights from the Fortress of Ice attacked a small caravan destined for our guild. This caravan was to deliver to us an object of unimaginable importance. A missing tablet that would help decipher a part of the Elder Scrolls. This piece completed, completed a map to the Labyrinthian. Uh, no doubt the knights returned with their booty to their fortress and are by now deeply ensconed within its walls. We cannot hope to get, it, get in there and recover that tablet piece. We are uh, not prepared for such an endeavor. If you would agree to attempt this, I would gladly tell you location of the Labyrinthian. All I need is a missing piece to solve the puzzle. Will you agree to help us? Of course. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. That's how it works. Uh, I am pleased to see that you do not shy from danger. Enough talk, then. Here is the location of the Fortress of Ice. When you have the missing piece, return here with it, and I will share with you the location of the Labyrinthian. Uh, Thalen gestures once, and the location of the Fortress of Ice is magically inscribed onto your map. Okay, let's save this. Let's save that one. So it's probably in Skyrim, since it's the Fortress of Ice. Maybe even High Rock, I don't know. Alright, Fortress... Oh, it's right there. It'll take three days. Today is the 15th of Evening Star, a holiday reverently observed by the Brotherhood of Temperance as Northwind's Prayer. It is a thanksgiving to the gods for a good harvest and a mild winter. Some years, like this one, uh, the harvest was not particularly good and the winter unseasonally, unseasonally harsh in Fortress of Ice, but as the Duchess is fond of saying, it could be much worse. The temples offer all their services, blessing, curing, healing for half the donation usually requested. Okay. That was a big waste of time. All right, here we are. Another fortress, but we're going to use the magic of the internet to see exactly where to go. Because otherwise this game would be impossible. All right, it's a bi-level dungeon teeming with cold monsters and humans. One must be rather cold since so armored way down to the second level. It was actually quite close. The entrance to the fortress itself, but unless you have pass wall, you have to go through a mazy set of rooms and quarters to get to it. So when you enter, if you immediately hug the west wall, by the time you turn the corner, you'll see the blue square that signifies the way down. This is a huge help if you have pass wall, and a big help if, even if you don't. It saves a lot of searching for the way down. Make your way to it, doing your best not to be frozen by snow wolves or swatted down by ice golems and humans. So that's the first step. Let's get to that blue square. Hug the west wall. Which is right here. Oh, I don't have my piece of crap. Nice. Took care of them fairly well. You guys suck at fighting. Actually, you kind of got the best of me there. Alright. I need to camp or something. I'm to lose some health here. The island's probably safe, right? This is an island. What can get to me from an island? 
Well, I'm on an island anyway. Nice. Guess we should save this. Hug on the wall. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, or where I'm going, or anything. These armor has spikes. That's weird. And he is impossible to kill. Ah, oh, here we go. That one will come to you. Right, here's what we need to do then. We need to uh, go in here, drop everything that we don't need. Like we don't need these. Oh. Drop those. And actually, we might not even need chain greaves, we'll see. Don't need leather boots. I need the chain cuirass. I need a lot of gauntlets. I don't even know what the buckler is. Oh, that's a shield. Okay. I don't need a shield. I'm just using the war axe. Okay. Let's drop the battle axe. Keep all the other stuff though. So I pretty much drop one of these long swords. Oh, right click is how you figure out their damage. Okay, that's useful. So what does the war axe do then? Two to twelve. Oh, two to eighteen. Only use the war hammer. Mithril longsword probably does better. 2 to 5 to 19 over this 2 to 16. I don't know. Let's drop that. Okay, drop all of these daggers. Keep one of the staffs, drop the other one. And just drop all these bucklers. Of course, I'm probably gonna end up dying as soon as I exit this anyway. Plate greaves are probably better. Yup. Plate boots are probably better. Yep. I have a plate grass. Of course, we got the same kind of pauldron. I can get a right pauldron. Nope. We had to get another left one. Oh, that's nice. 
Let's save this as PT. Actually, no. Let's save this as another one. Sure, empty. Wait, how come I have a buffer out? That's not what's supposed to happen. What? It's, yeah, it's supposed to be the Warhammer out. Maybe it just looks weird like that. Yeah, it's a weird looking. Oh. You suck. Alright, I think I'm done for now then. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.